Maybe it doesn't matter, I, I, can, I can check to you uh, some ideas, maybe it does to be good, I think we're not uh, sure. Yeah, uh, the asset, we use separate from the asset and value as the basic uh, criteria. So the asset tracks to the two and compensating of the new infrastructure is well focused, not mainly on service. Like the bridge and the hill, but it's on the dynamic bridges and the bridges. So the asset of the new infrastructure will consist of the physical asset, the space asset, and the time asset. So all the assets will provide the value based on the scenario asset. Yeah. So I can give you a very simple example. So it's just like the one. Person driving on the highway. So maybe every time the, the guy driving the same highway will pay the same price, yeah, but in the new infrastructure concept, so every time the guy drives on the same highway will pay different money yeah, because they will use a different uh, unit. Yeah, they will use different value. So. Every construction or infrastructure uh, project is with so called in the intelligent end. Yeah. So it's a data based uh, asset. So, what's the value of the new infrastructure for people and society? Yeah, the focus is not primarily on the amenities, accessibility, and the sanitization. Like the in a way. But it will be more of the innovation, value added, and the use. So everyone uses the same infrastructure based on their personalized usage. And they will restrict the value to the infrastructure. It's not just use the infrastructure, they will uh, contribute to the infrastructure. So it's a kind of value stacking to develop an innovation approach. So it's a, it's a, it's a quite different. So we love the digital technology and we love the digital management. It is almost impossible to make so called new infrastructure projects realize at this level. Okay. So the essence of new infrastructure projects, I 
actually is a middleway. So what is the point? Of the point of the is that it gets something, gets something new done. But the system working as the middle is transport from one operation to the other. So you in fact take your transmission project is transmissory isolated and legitimate. In which the projects are more flexible than I am. So it can already be realized in So we should consider what the base of fundamental characteristic of the uh, projects in the uh, future in the digital world. It's a, it's a first uh, point. Yeah, the second point is about uh, yeah, the I, I, I would like to yeah, so maybe you hear me. Yeah. The second is about the core value. I would like to uh, give a value of digitalization. It is not merely on improving efficiency and then reducing labor costs, uh, just as uh, uh, it was so popular with accepted value uh, in the real society. So, why we need to use the digital technology to save money, to save people, and to increase the productivity? But the more value. Will be on the narrow construction, value generation, and process to innovate, to create new offers, to create new value. So it's a um, basic value of the digitalization to meet the requirements in the next and the present world. And so, and if we want to make our digital national system, we want to the other organization. So we should go backwards from the future to present. For the further uh, the future uh, operation system to present construction. So it's a it's a back, backward. So the challenges for digital management uh, for uh, the new infrastructure project here I get to two projects. One is a digital twin process. Yeah. So without the digital twin process, we will never be able to talk about the digital man. The digital man is in the, in the digital society, digital world. So we should shift from the real world to digital world, to the virtual uh, world. So it's a, it's a first project. And second is from the digital world to back. And they have two software for this demand. Yeah. About is a, uh, is a two process. So now it's a two software for this demand. So one is to increase the public demand. So in the digital society for the new infrastructure, the infrastructure itself will become more and more free. Not to 
get rid of all the residue. The second advantage is food. It's not from the vegetables. Otherwise, the vegetable management will never be the same. So this is actually the best. Да, коллеги, конечно, не очень интересно им сказать, да, и свои подходы, но у нас, вы же понимаете, график, график еще и очень важный и сложный, я думаю, что в этом случае мы точно сможем еще организовать площадку, где можно еще будет дискутировать на самом интересные темы, но, учитывая то, что у нас в вашей все грандиозной